Hey everyone, it's Tim Maria here live at CES 2013 at the Digital Health Summit uh, Studio. Brought to you by Idea Life. We have Dr. Daniel Kraft from Singularity University. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's been a great conference. So I know you got pulled off stage for another interview earlier. We got you back here. Popular um, topic today. What was going on inside it? What was the topic? Our topic was um, trackaholism, you know, as we're now in this era of the quantified self and the fact that, you know, I'm wearing like six sensors myself at the moment. Um, are there folks who are trackaholics? But more broadly, that's a bit of a cute idea. Uh, can you get over involved in your own personal data? I like to look at the idea of quantified self moving to quantified health. This idea that this device right now, which tracks my steps and my sleep, might be something that as a physician I'll prescribe to my patients yeah. and I not only can prescribe exercise and get the data back but I'll prescribe a blood pressure cuff or a glucometer and make it part of their pro proactive preventative care as well as a way to do better diagnosis and therapy. So the session merged into the idea that you know I don't think it's any one sensor, the future of trichoholism, it goes into our genomics, our microbiome, the internet of things that's emerging, a lot of the new technologies here at CES have the ability to change not just digital health, but how we do the whole spectrum of prevention, wellness, diagnostics, therapy. So uh, we meld it into that and where we see that going. Where I see that going is that you don't want to wear 10 different devices or log in at five APIs. I, I, I like the concept of almost a on star for the body. You know, you know more yeah, about the health yeah. of your car than you do about yourself. So you don't want to find out when the car's crashed. You want your own check engine light. So where some of this trichoholism goes is to really true proactive preventative healthcare, and I think it's an exciting era for that. So then predictive analytics and a lot of those more advanced algorithms will take place in, in roadmap. What's in your pocket? <laughs> in my pocket, I've got, so I uh, chair the medicine track at Singularity University. I also run a program that I started called FutureMed, um, and now being called Exponential Medicine. And one of the companies that came out of our first program was Walter de Brouwer and Scanadu, right? Yeah. So you maybe talked to them earlier, but this is an example of convergent exponential technology shrinking into something that will talk to your phone, will change how we do connected healthcare, empowering the patient, empowering the clinician. Um, so that's one thing in my pocket. Um, I also have, interestingly, we talk about the future of healthcare. You know, one world that's moving quickly is 3D printing. Yeah. I have a mini me, this is scan, a Microsoft Connect, uh, scanned me, and then I printed myself out for a couple bucks. And while this may not connect with healthcare, if I uh, was missing part of my face and wanted to have a prosthetic, or in orthopedics, we're seeing personalized prosthetics being made. This idea of the long tail medicine, it goes beyond just personalized drugs, but the personalized app, the personalized device, the personalized product that really fits you, whether it's a printed knee part for knee surgery, all the way to uh, 3D printed bowels that might be optimal. So um, as a physician, and looking at the future of healthcare through Singularity University and, and Exponential Medicine program, I look, at where, 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 look where that's heading. Uh, Google Glass has been a hot topic today. I know you have some more wizardry in your pocket. Yeah, sure, sure. So glass is interesting. You know, I'll, I'll glass all myself up here. It's an interesting example now of something that's not even out, right? But it's already having a huge amount of innovation on it in terms of using this in the operating room as a way to do scribing, as a way to interact with a patient and other information, or even for patients to have their healthcare GPS. So there's a lot already being innovated on this platform. We saw some of that here today. And I think this is going to blend into clinical care, whether you're a surgeon, uh, whether you're a medical student who wants you know, their, their, their list of to-dos. Uh, all that's going to happen on glass-like platforms. And this will look as you know, antique as an iPhone 1 in a couple years. Nice. You're also an entrepreneur and you have an announcement today. Yeah, we just uh, did an announcement of an early peak at a new startup that is called Bionic Health. And Bionic Health's mission on its first stages is to be a platform for digital health. There's now all these wearable devices. Which one's right for you? How do you compare an up to a jawbone to a, 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 you know, all these other ones, you know, 10 new ones out here today? Not just pedometers, but blood pressure cuffs, scales, glucometers, BCI headsets. So Bionic Health is the first community and uh, digital health sort of e-commerce place, you know, blending elements of Yelp and rating and, and community. So you can find, compare, and purchase the technology right for you as an individual, as a patient, and as a physician, uh, we have a platform for enabling you to prescribe an app or a device. So you have hypertension, I might prescribe you a blood pressure cuff. And this is going to be, it is, I think, the first platform for that. Because here at CS, we're seeing all these new technologies. How do you sort them out? As there are more and more of them, how do you compare them? One works on Apple, one works on Android, one uh, you like the color blue. Um, we can blend in your genomic and other information to make recommendations. So we see this as a, a platform to play across the spectrum, just like in the gold rush, the, the winners weren't just the miners. It won't be any one piece of technology. It's the platform and the tool set to, to connect that and be part of that uh, infrastructure. 
That's awesome, Danielle. How do people connect up with you? You're so fascinating. You're connected in the community, hosting cool events. Um, so, website. Uh, sure. Um, I'm on Twitter at Daniel underscore craft. Uh, the future medicine program that I uh, executive director for is at exponentialmedicine.com through Singularity University. Um, and this new uh, company that we're just soft launching is called Bionic Health. Bionic with a Q. So B-I-O-N-I-C-Q health.com. And we have a promotion uh, for those who want to start at $15 of store credit if you use the code digital health. Digital health. All right. Cool, Daniel. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.